Hey everyone, it's your boy KP here. Welcome to the No Justice, No Peace report. Um, I'm commenting uh, on, you know, in light of the election and we're still going through this whole counting process and deciding um, who has the votes and mail-in ballots and all these different things that I really uh, didn't understand before, but I'm understanding a little bit better now. So, you know, apparently, um, Democrats do the mail-in ballots more. Republicans are more prone to the walk in and vote um, at the particular locations, right? So they're doing a whole lot of counting now. So far, Joe Biden is in the lead. But this article that I read here from CNN, um, I'll put it in the description box so you can read it for yourself. Because I think in, in you know, I, I try to stay away from, um, you know, debates and arguments when it comes to politics and which party is better and all that, because I think all the, the politicians, they all have their faults, parties have their faults. And I am more on the side of whoever is doing um, good for the, the, um, the poor, whoever is helping out those who are helpless and not um, causing more heartache and pain for individuals in that category. That's what I'm for, right? And regardless of the party you're in, if your um, policies or the things that you're doing um, hurt the poor and hurt the underprivileged, then I am not for you and I'm not for the things that you do. Um, CNN article here and um, says millions of white voters are once again showing who they are, who they are. Um, the reason why I found this article interesting is because, um, you know, for all that we have seen in the current president, Donald Trump, and, you know, the nasty things that he says or he has said, and um, the, 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 the immigration situation where children are being separated from their parents, the attacking of health care in the midst of um, or trying to take away health care in the midst of a pandemic. I would think that this election would be a straight repudiation of that type of behavior. But, you know, the polls are suggesting that a lot of white folks still voted for him. You know, and even for um, Christian evangelicals and all that sort of stuff, for all the chaos, all the nastiness and all the terrible things that he has said and he has done, with, um, of course, I think there are individuals influencing him. I think he has his own problems, but I think individuals are inv um, influencing him. His advisors, that is, they're coming up with these crazy ideas. And he's appealing to um, a racist segment of the American population. I'm not too sure why this election is so close. Not that I'm cheering on Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, but for all the things that he's done and all the things that um, this party, um, his party has pushed in terms of signing off on it, I thought this election would be like a straight repudiation. We're not into racism. We're not into white supremacy. Um, you know, given the rich tax breaks, uh, you know, for, you know, just the, I thought folks would have just gone in and said, no, this is not us. This is not what we're about. Politics isn't perfect. Um, you know, people are not perfect, but for, you know, these things that consistently happen and coming out and, and, and just attacking people from different cultural groups, the supporting of, um, organizations and institutions that are, um, you know, oppressive to black and brown people. Uh, you know, so I'll put this article in the description box and it's, it's basically saying that even if Joe Biden ekes out a win, it still says a lot about the individuals who are willing to vote. And black people, by the way, because black men have voted for him more than when he first um, um, ran in um, 2016, when he became president in 2016. Black men voted for him. I think more black people, black men voted for him and um, white voters as well. Interesting article. Um, take a look at it. CNN and anything else connected to it. All right. Thanks for your support, by the way. Hit that uh, subscription button. I'm over 100 subscribers. Love it. Thank you for the support. 
and um, you know, send a comment as well and share. All right. Take care of yourselves. Stay woke, stay ready.